Just now, Aras Adi, a freshman fullback and pre-med student at the University of Florida, collapsed and died from hypothermia or heat exhaustion. Apparently, the cause was from completing a voluntary workout. Now it's over to Mikey in the field for more. Thank you, Kate. Right now, I am standing in the University of Florida's field. Teachers are very frightened and want to prevent another incident like this from happening. Scientists at Johns Hopkins and NASA have worked together to create a pill that can monitor a body's temperature. This could have saved the athlete's life. Back to you, Carter and Kate. Thanks, Mike. The tragedy has prompted athletic programs to be better consider. Hello and welcome to the Tech Talk. My name is Alan. Today is July 21st, 2006. We're going to start off with talking about the ingestible thermal monitoring system. To sum it up, this is a pill that you can swallow. The little device in your hand will show you your current body temperature. This device was created to prevent fatal incidents like the one that happened on July 19, 2001 when a student died from heat exhaustion. Yesterday I went to a convention where one of the scientists was giving a lecture on this. Here is the video. Hey everybody, my name is Dr. Ahmed, and I'm one of the Goddard Space Flight Center scientists. I was one of the scientists working on the pill with the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory scientists. This device is a form of technology we NASA scientists call spin-offs. Spin-offs are a type of technology developed by NASA for space use, but have been found useful on Earth. The adjustable thermal monitoring system was originally used to keep astronauts safe from hyperthermia, or heat exhaustion, because of the sun. Now this device is being mainly used on Earth to try the body temperatures of football players. That could also include inhuman things, such as paper processing units and jumbo television sets and sports stadiums, so they don't overheat and break down. Now let's talk about the architecture of the pill. The pill has two coverings, an outer silicon coat and an inner epoxy shell. First, the battery gives power to the crystal. It then detects and calculates the current body temperature. Afterwards, this information is sent to the communication coils. In the end, the antenna wirelessly transfers the data to the handheld device. Scientists have many ideas for the future of this pill. For example, there could be an upgrade to the pill that adjusts your body temperature. You might even be able to track your temperatures with your smartphone. Thank you for listening to my speech. Thanks, Mike, for that. That was a very informative and well-documented video. Some glitches with the lecturer's mouth, I suppose. Yeah, uh, joking. Ha, ha, very funny. Sheesh. If the pill could track the competitiveness of people, your readings would be off charge.